But they are now fighting for this dragon. Hook's not gonna land just yet. Oh, it's gonna be a reset it's on the Drake, but still there's no jungler around. Cap's gonna look for something. Nice smite away, and Broxa is gonna ward hop right back out, so no harm there. But Jester running out of health. One more shot will do him in, and first blood comes in to sneak. A bit of over aggression for the Matic bot lane. Here they get first turret. Such a good swap because right now Regis is recalling. He hasn't gone back to base yet. So we see C9 oh, being smoothie. really far ahead. Remount, pair trap on a rope lands, gets a stun to buy some time. Contract's gonna land cocoon as well. They can make Scar run away, but now here comes the repeat. The ulti coming across. There's no health bar left. Sneaky so with well another done. kill. And it all actually starts with C9 getting that dragon and killing Jessis, allowing then Sneak and Smoothie to push up there. Really lane. utilize that very well. And here is the top lane play once again. Impact had already got him dismounted. Uh, Soros was able to remount, but then Smoothie and Contracts layering their CC very nicely. The binding into there, and then uh, they're able to just take him down very, very easily. No real chance for Soros to fight back. Uh, because of the crowd in the position where they know that they're going to get the kill and they can allow the Caitlyn oh. to be the one to last hit. Taking it. Jess, Jess is what? Uh, one well, of the flash in, landers to one in. Look for the play. They're going to hook up Smoothie, who has ulti available. He's going to buy some time with it. And Satchel is going to do nothing at all. Explosive charge does zero damage. The re-engage. They killed off Jess. Is sneaky cutting away. Fair Trapper up is on. No, the flash is going to wait. Jess is, or it's actually, sorry, Soaz still on it. But no, he cannot find Sneaky Pocket Pistol not doing enough. And the kill will come through off the Satchel and Impact actually getting it. Another play from Fnatic where you just have to question. It. It's so aggressive, it feels like the rest of the Reckless team are just not able to too. follow. Yeah, it's gonna flash forward, look oh, for the chase on the Reckless. Nice juke, but the stun against the wall is still there, and Smoothie gonna pick up a hard-earned kill for himself. I mean, Reckless avoided a lot there, and now Jensen chasing down Caps, he hits the Q. He's too fast, he's gonna be able to chase down Caps as a flash to the wall. Will he chase? Yes, he is! The flash out of the damage is in, and Jensen gonna clap Caps! Huge wave top, built up for Jensen to pick up. So much going well, and Jensen is going through this, I mean... Ugh. How is this ever going to work? I mean, he has to flash just to avoid yeah. the trap, and you're starting at such an awful spot. Yeah, it's so weird, because it looked like he actually wasn't going to do it. He was just kind of waiting around, but then... Really the smart all. They have to TP in with everything, and, you know, Regulus and Brox are trying to do what they can, but this Jarvan can just keep them in place, and never really a way for Fnatic to win that fight, even with also Jensen actually roaming first down the river, you see there, in case... The fight had been closer, reckless, too much CC to dodge. Yeah, and especially because the summoners are available, right? Like, Flash is available for Smoothie, buys time with his ultimate, then able to land and flash away. Sneaky had both of his summoners, so he's able to use those to survive against Soaz. And if those weren't available, maybe the play makes a lot more sense from Fnatic, but they were, and that's not the situation we were in. Just a bit of a rule as well when you play. As soon as you go to the other side, you're gonna get stunned. Or in this case, you're forced to use your flash just super early in the fight. They're fighting yeah, against so them. Package in. They're gonna actually find him this time. Smoothie actually gonna be cremated. He's gone for one. Now Jess is on the chase. Looks to take down Sneaky. Can't find any more CC. But at least it's all about the little thing. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And gotta, it's a cloud drink. Gotta, it's the best one. You gotta celebrate what you can. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, the kick into the turret though. Pretty sick by Braxa. But it doesn't matter. See, Two kills go over this cloud. This is why Fnatic doesn't want the Drakes. Want the Drakes. <laughs> now they lost. Two guys in mid. Oh, an impact. Fancy's a play here with Soas. Oh, misses the knockup. Really nice by Soas. Juking away from the flag and dragon. They're looking to keep winning this duel. Bear trap on a rope is up again. Olds in for a bit more damage. An impact running out of ways to live. The flash cocoon, though. He found that one. The dismount comes in. Scar runs away. Yeah, and so I think they want to kill impact after losing that 1v1. Jess is here flashing for everything. When doesn't even bring a lantern. <laughs> just they're going to jump the wall. Impact's going to run down. Now, the thing is, he can't TP away because Jess can CC him. So he's not going to pull a Soaz just yet. Black and Drag goes over to Reckless. Yeah, Dots away from the Q, flashing back. Looking for a bit more. Meanwhile, Soaz himself can run out of life. That's one kill picked up. Sneaky on a Rampage 4, 0, and 2. And Impact will, in fact, lose his life. Brox to getting the kill. I think it's about Nexuses, actually. But turrets take get yes. Nexuses. Here we go. That's just as rooted up. That's going to be an easy cocoon, easy trap, easy everything kill once again to Sneaky. Hit the hook, though. Impact's TPing in. And it's going to find some damage there. Look like Sneaky going to have to run away from this one. Nice shutdown comes through. Smoothie oh, with the wall. And again, they find a bit more. Nice double stun comes Jess in. Then Duck is in. And Impact brings the NBA with them. But so has running away with a pocket pistol. One more handle kill. And he will, in fact, fall. The rest of the back line still here. The pair of the portal, I should say, as Reckless wants back in. But be careful. There's still a cast if he wants to kill you. Contracts just dodged like every missile from Caps and stayed alive as well. Yeah. Caps now, he might be in trouble. Ooh, maybe he's trying. He's going to be attacked by Broxo. One more hit will do him in. Rock is oh! going to go from downtown and Caps gets one back. So far down, First, you can't really defend the Baron unless you're going for aggressive plays. Jess is obviously again used his flash earlier. That uh, means that he's a very easy target for Smoothie and C9. Luckily though, he lands that hook. Uh, not sure if it was actually impactful, but he did hit it. So worth highlighting. Sneaky. And so actually going down right there, a lot of damage from Caps. And then look at the contracts here to the right.
Gets the one big one on him, and then one more, surely he's, he's dead, right? Nope, dodge that one. There's another one coming, dodge that one too. Can't. And Spoon gets away. Didn't get the kill. So he yeah. just kills Impact instead. At the same time, Jensen missed Miasma, missed a couple of Qs on Abrox. As Abrox is able to get out there, so both junglers able to dodge away and survive. Mm -hmm. uh, they do eventually get the kill on the Impact, though. Uh, Caps has been good, to be fair to him, at actually avoiding a lot of his CCs in these fights. Uh, so I, I think you actually need uh, to go for the Titanic Hydra in this case. The Cassio is fed, the Caitlyn is fed. Good you by can Jesses. just play utility. I think they're throwing maybe too many stuns. I don't think you need to cocoon the guy who's got Miasma and Elena. Cupcake on it, but either way, the kick's gonna put him right back into the mix and the squishier impact. Oh, he's gonna fall at the start. Uh, Reckless gets a great kill. So it is technically dark right now for Fnatic. And look at the damage output there, just the DPS so high. 80% crit, Caitlyn, Baron picked up. Caspi, of course, helps as well. Here's a dunk on a Caps. Ulti trader just for the Valkyrie and a flash. One more wave, so C9 can look to try to step up aggressively. They're gonna try to knock down this turret. It will go down, and now Fnatic, I don't even think they can defend their inhibitor. I think this might just be pretty much it. Triple inhibitor down. You said, you know, maybe it's gonna be too risky, and here comes a nice kill on a threat at the trade, though his impact's gonna fall. So once again, 4v4. Broxton jumps on, attacks the Cassipia, might get the damage. Quick tempered fate buys a few more seconds. As Jensen's very, very low on health, gets attacked a couple more times, will stay alive. Here comes Caps looking for more, can't quite get it there with the package. Needs the snipes on the back side of this one as Brox has already fallen, so as next up, can't quite get it. And here's the attack is yes, Caps well, picks Caps up one, takes down the Elise, and one shot will kill off Jensen, but there's too many minions in Cloud9 looking to close it out, looking to kill off the last few buildings, but first, they've got to kite away from Soaz, the threatening Kled. Jensen healing back up by attacking poison minions. Yeah, Caps is trying to get around and hit him, Soaz as well going in. Soaz just bounced, they're going to look for Reckless, can't, can't or sorry, can't quite get Sneaky, just though, Reckless minions. back up, they're though. The game. The minions going to try to close it out, Sneaky the same as Jensen wants in, can't get the flay, two more attacks will do it, and Cloud9 will, in fact, take down Fnatic 2-0 in the head-to-head.